Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you're all well on this amazing, amazing midweek hump. Talking of amazing, you're looking amazing, by the way. And this video is one that you're going to have to strap yourself in for a little bit. I'm going to introduce you to a content creator that some of you have heard of, some of you haven't heard of, a few of you have told me that I should have heard of, and yeah, I started checking this person out, and they released a video. And we're gonna do, we're gonna watch a little segment of that video, but I'm not gonna play the whole video purely because the guy has done the homework himself, and the guy deserves to get the credit for it. We're gonna get there, but first of all, we need to go back a little bit and set the stage for what we're talking about. So in the Brian Koberger and the Idaho 4 case, there's been numerous names that have come up, numerous names. And there's always been a niggling feeling in the background as well that Brian Koberger, perhaps it wasn't proper investigational procedures that led someone to Brian Koberger, but potentially someone fingered him. That's him. I don't mean fingered like behind the bike sheds. I mean they pointed at him and went, that's the guy you want. And then it leads you to think, well, who would have done that? Who would have potentially pointed the finger at Brian Koberger? Now, another thing to think as a side note is that we have considered, a lot of us have considered how one person could have done this. Could this have been multiple people doing it multiple people and it's also important to consider that brian koberger whether he did the crime or whether he was involved in the crime the best thing for him to do at this stage is keep his fucking mouth shut because even if he was the driver only in this crime he was just part of the crime it doesn't matter it doesn't matter he has got to play the game as if he has nothing to do with it Nothing to do with it. He has nothing to gain here, and there's no leveraging, especially if him himself has already been legend, you know, leveraged on, and someone else has already fingered him. He can't, you know, this could just turn messy. So at the minute, his best play is to, I, I weren't there. I weren't there. And we have also touched on the fact that the only people who truly know what happened are the people who was there. Now, we don't know what the time of the crime was, but we do know that the people who did the crime will know. And if the police have done anything wrong and they have fucked something up, then Brian Koberger, if he's involved, he will know and that he can play that to his advantage. But anyway, what am I talking about? I digress and all that. So some of the names that have cropped up have included Emma Bailey, and Demetrius Robinson. This seems to be a couple. Um, we'll nickname them Bonnie and Clyde. Apparently other people have. But we've got Emma Bailey and Demetrius Robinson. And these are two individuals around that kind of... They seem to be skating on the peripheral of this case. It's argued that Emma Bailey had some form of connection to the house and some form of connection with those inside the house. Perhaps friends, perhaps not, who knows? But that is the rumour mill. Before I go any further, I must say that everything in this video is speculation at the end of the day. Everybody is innocent until proven guilty of any crime, even, even Brian Koberger. But we can talk, we can spitball, we can speculate, we can have an opinion. And for those who don't like our opinions, let me say this and let me say it very clear. Go and fuck yourself. Anyway, so Emma Bailey and Demetrius Robinson, this is Bonnie and Clyde couple, they seem to keep getting into trouble. They seem to keep getting into trouble and they seem to keep fucking walking free. And when I say getting into trouble, I don't mean that they get caught because they pull a cat's tail or perhaps pinch its little fucking face and send it on its way. I'm talking about that they have been caught for some things that would see other people facing heavy heavy prison sentences and i'll give you a little example of one of these said cases so here we go so suspect in university of idaho spring break death as criminal history now this weren't that long ago by the way this is april 7 2023 this read april 7 one of the people arrested in connection to the recent death of a university of idaho student in centralia wash has an extensive criminal history in whitman county Tacoma man Demetrius Robinson, 36, was arrested along with 22-year-old Moscow woman Emma Bailey on March 21st by the Centralia Police Department. They were each booked into Lewis County Jail on a charge of delivery of a controlled substance. 
DoorDash Drug Deliveries. That's a new business. You heard it here first. Robinson and Bailey are accused of providing illegal drugs to a 22-year-old male, later identified as University of Idaho junior, Caden Young. And Young was found dead by a friend in Centralia apartment. According to the Centralia Police Department news release, a preliminary investigation revealed information that illegal drug use was involved in his death. And according to Lewis County, Emma Robinson and Bailey remain in jail on a $100,000 bond. Now, you'd think that that would go there. This goes on and on and on, by the way. You know, this got for those of you who don't know, and I'm sure the vast majority of you do, so I'm not going to read through all this, but he is a fucking nasty piece of work. He's been done for trafficking, this, that, and the other. And every single time, this motherfucker has walked... Like Koza fucking Kaiser fucking Soze. He's walked. But they've been skating around the University of Idaho case. So that brings me to this. So some people have reached out and said you need to check out this video because where are they now? Where are they now? That's the question that everyone has on the tip of their tongues now. I know. So we're gonna have a look at this. So this channel here is um, Jay Ombre, Pavarotti. The link to this video will be in the description of this video. And you need to go over, check him out, show him some love. And if you have the ability to, and you have the resources to, then maybe it's worth digging a little bit further into what he started. Bloody ads! So anyway, Anyway, let's let's bring me back up here. So that video there, the link is in the description. I don't know why the fuck I looked up there. What did we look up there for? Hey, what did we look up there for? Um, yeah, so that is Jay Aubrey Pavarotti, and he is going to tell you a story. I'm covered in fucking hair. Cheers for that, dickhead. He's going to tell you a story. He's going to tell you where Emma Robinson is right now. It's going to tell you a little bit about some things, and you need to get over there and you need to watch it. But that set the stage. Like I say, there are people around this case. There's people around on the peripherals. There's things that we've had, the ideas that we've had, thoughts that we've had. But what we can, what we absolutely know in this case, and what I need to leave you with is this. The Idaho 4 murders happen for a reason. 100% they happen for a reason. And I ain't fucking buying it that Brian Koberger was this lovesick puppy who fucked off from Washington to Moscow, Idaho, and this murder took place because he was fucking head over heels in love with Maddie, for instance. I ain't fucking buying it. There's more to it. I don't care what anyone says. The only thing that I'm not 100% sure about is Brian Koberger and where his part plays. I've always said from the start that the thought that Brian Koberger was involved, but potentially he was involved with other people, potentially just a driver. It had been stated, and some have said it's been debunked. I haven't seen any debunking. All I've seen is people saying that it, it ain't true, and we certainly don't know if it was. But Brian Koberger stated, or made the statement, apparently, had anyone else been arrested. Now, bearing in mind, that rules out Brent Kopacker, because at this time... He was deceased, and Brian Koberger knew that. He knew that that wasn't the case. So if that is true, then who else was he referring to? And why would he say that if he said it? If he said it? If. Anyway, go and check that video out. Show some love to Jay Ombre. And then come back to this and tell me what you think. And is that something that we need to speak more about? Catch you all in the next one.